Hello everyone, I'm Simon and welcome to Cold Water Tanks. Another update from uh, Krabitat today. Uh, this was filmed at the end of June and summer has been quite terrible so far. It's uh, really been feeling like it's autumn all summer. It's just lots of rain, it's cold and more wind than usual for this time of year. Uh, we have had a few days though with really warm temperatures, like yeah, 25 plus Celsius. Uh, but the temperature in the Kravitat is still to exceed 15 degrees Celsius. Uh, I think it's 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Which I believe is uh, quite like the sea temperature these days. Uh, I'm still hoping we'll get a longer period of warm temperatures. Uh, but I am hopeful and I do think that the basement temperature will stay cool enough for the tank. And if it does, I do have a couple more tank ideas that I want to bring into life down there. If it works without a chiller. And we will see, that's for the future though. As you can see, the piece of kelp I added in the beginning is uh, withering away quite quickly. The snail seems to be eating a lot on it. Here you can see one of my common starfish uh, showing that they are not picky eaters. Uh, this is actually a spider that must have fallen into the tank and turned into a snack for, for this starfish. Uh, some of you might have seen my latest beach exploration video where I found this beautiful beadlet anemones uh, that I decided to add to the tank. I'm hoping I will finally get the anemones to do well. I hope they won't be able to eat any of the inhabitants in here though. Uh, I don't think they will but yeah, time will show. Uh, they do look beautiful, that's for sure. Uh, I've also added another creature to the tank. Uh, a small anemone hermit crab. Uh, some of you have probably seen these guys in uh, some of my other videos. This is a symbiotic relationship between a special kind of hermit crab and, and this particular kind of anemone. Uh, the anemone will get food from the ground when the hermit moves around. Well, the hermit crab gets protection from predators uh, as the anemone shoots out some sort of stingy threads uh, whenever the hermit feels threatened. If you want to see that, you can check out my video of these guys. I'll probably add a few more of these to the tank eventually, as they are really cool. Uh, another new addition is this small decorator crab. A uh, cute little bugger with the uh, cool hairdo. Uh, this orange thing is a piece of sponge that came up with uh, one of my crab traps. It's been ripped off whatever it was attached to down there though, so, so I doubt it will survive, but, but I'm just giving it a try as it's got a great color. Uh, here's another beautiful looking sea star, uh, some kind of blood star. And I think this is as big as I've ever seen them in my area. I also got a few of the fully grown painted top shell I showed you in a previous video. Uh, I have had these in a tank before and I seem to remember they did bother my anemones a bit so yeah, I'll watch them closely to see how they go together with the beadlet anemones. Uh, the bladder rack seems to be doing okay so far, but uh, I am sure I have to I have to change it out at some point, as I don't think I'll get it to grow. There's plenty of them where it came from though, so so it's no problem. Anyways, that's all for this update from the Krabitat. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel and want to see more, please subscribe. And also hit the notification bell to make sure you'll see whenever I upload a new video. Please leave a comment if you have any kind of feedback, questions or suggestions about my tank or my videos. Uh, I really do appreciate that. So, see you next time. Thanks for watching.